We can conclude our discussion on the overview of the interventions by looking at the three pillars of health as explained in the Charak Sanghita. Three pillars of health explained in the Charak Sanghita, the oldest uh, literature, documented literature on the health and Ayurveda, the science of uh, uh, life. Traya Upastambha Iti, three pillars are ahara that is food swapno that is related to sleep and brahmacharya miti iti means hence and these ahar food swapna or uh, sleep and brahmacharya self control these are the three pillars of health as explained in the Char charak sanghita e bhi, tribhi, these three yukti yuktai when done properly upastambham upastambham they make available something what what do they make available shariram balavarna upachayam upachitam anuvartate yavat ayu sanskarat sanskaram ahitam up sevamanasya yah ih eva upak up dikshate by wisdom of well regulated support of these pillars what do we get one one get the body with the strength good complexion, proper growth and this continues throughout life, provided person does not get involved in the regimens which are detrimental. Ahitam upaseva manasya, that which is detrimental, ahitam, if person do not get into the detrimental of uh, regimens person can keep enjoying strength, good complexion, proper growth. We can see how these three pillars are deeply connected to the Ashtanga Yoga, how these three pillars can be achieved through Ashtanga Yoga. Yam, Niyam, these are very important as self control. Until we follow the Yam and Niyam, we cannot experience the self control. That self control becomes the basis of our health. This also affects the quality of sleep. You must have heard that I can sleep comfortably if my conscience is clear. When will my conscience be clear? When I am following yamas and niyamas, then only my conscience will be clear. There is no situation, there is no point where human being can say that they cannot they do not need, so I do not need niyamas. We need to understand that human intellect is such and the environment and society and the, and the environment is such, so much, uh, so many stimulants, person can slip into the ahinsa, person can slip in, sorry, person can slip into things or losing self control or end up holding things. So, we need to constantly practice niyamas as well. That will help us to keep the conscience clear. Keeping conscience can remain clear, not when we cannot make mistake. That is very, very difficult state to achieve. When you say that I just cannot make mistake means that is, that is how I am programmed. So, mistakes are likely to happen. But when we are sincerely following niyamas, we can free from the guilt, we can keep improving, we can keep developing our capabilities and, capabil and developing our perception and intellect both. So, yamas and niyamas help us to achieve self control, brahmacharya, which in turn affects sleep. When our sleep is good, when our, uh, when we have self control, our digestion will naturally work well. There are many studies suggesting that digestion is affected by mental stress or thoughts of violence and uh, many other negative thoughts. 
So, that has effect on the ahar as well. But ahar is affected most by asanas, pranayam and pratyahar. Asanas means physical posture, if my posture is correct, if I do the vyayam, I do the exercise by performing right asanas, my digestion will be good. When I regulate my vitality through the pranayam, again my 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 energy to the intrinsic organs will be more and the digestion will be better. Pratyahar is ability to enjoy within. When I am following pratyahar, I have a interoception, I develop the intelligence about what food, which food is good for me, which food is not good for me. That is excellent form of self control and that helps in achieving brahmacharya and in turn affect the uh, quality of sleep. So, you can look at asana, pranayam and pratyahar first they uh, impact the nutrition ahar and then they impact brahmacharya and swap, uh, or nidra as well. Dharana, dhyan, samadhi are related to sleep, self control and ahar all three things. When I have dharana, when I have, when my mind is ekagra, I am focused, I can understand my body and I can understand my emotions well. Accordingly, I can choose which ahar to be taken and which emotions to be entertained, which thoughts have to be entertained. Dhyan is fal, dhyan is the outcome of dharana. Dhyam is a effortless state. When I experience dhyan, even for some time, when I experience samadhi, that I cannot talk in much detail, but even if I have experienced the effortlessness of remaining focused, energized and lose the sense of identity even for the few seconds. I can recognize that this is deeply connected to the quality of my mind and quality of my physicality, quality of my body. That means, quality of the thoughts and emotions I entertain and quality of food I intake. Once I have experienced the joy of meditation and have a glimpse of very primitive level of samadhi, I can become, I will certainly become very, very conscious of the mental as well as physical state of mind. Because we know that those are very joyful moments and in order to keep having those joyful moments in our life, we need to manage these instrument, mind is instrument and body is an instrument, we need to manage these instruments well. So, naturally we will not take these instruments for granted and that will naturally result in managing self and that will be reflected in managing career. Managing career does not mean you have all the money, all the power, all the positions. Managing career meaning I am spending time, people spend at least 5, 6, 8 hours at job, what they call career. Managing career is not having the highest position in the office or most cherished most valuable possessions as as your uh, as your compensation managing career meaning i can joyfully spend my time in the job i can grow in job i can have positive relationship at job i feel engaged in the job and job make me feel happy that is the essence of managing career and that's where managing career and managing self can merge that is experienced in mind and that requires maintenance of our, of our mental state as well as physical state. So, three pillars of health are not only about managing self, these are also about managing career. Once we experience the joy of the balance of these three pillars, we can continue to practice on this.